Hi everyone, it's Andrea and I thought we'd do a bit of colouring and chatting. Um, the reason is I wanted to start colouring in the totally bodacious 80s colouring book but I also wanted to try these neon pencils I bought a while back from Office Outlet. I haven't used them yet as you can see so I'm going to open them up and I thought why, why not use them in a totally 80s book because it was you know a decade of neon. So I'm going to go to where my pencil is and we're going to colour in these lovely ladies. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the accessories in the neons because those are the sort of um, places where th 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 those are the sort of things that would be neon. So for instance, the, her earrings might be neon yellow and her belt buckle, you know. So we're just going to see how these lay down because these were only cheap. Oh, that's very bright. Oh, yeah, that, that colour's all right, isn't it? Look at the colour. Wow, yeah, that really shows up. I mean, these are made by JTEC, and they're neon highlighting pencils. So, and I bought them to colour the neon lights in my 50s colouring book. But then I got this 80s book, and I thought... You know what? Do you know what they wore in the 1980s? They wore bloody neon, didn't they? So we're going to give her some neon lips as well. Oh yeah, I like that. So she can have a neon. Oh, look at that pink. Can't see it. Let me just put that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So, I mean, that's going on with a very light touch a bit heavier quite heavy to get it up to the the neon so yeah I'm liking these pencils they're very very good colours I mean obviously I do have the Prisma colours and you do have the neons in the Prisma colours I haven't actually tried those yet other than on my swatch um, but I wanted to use these ones just to see how it would go I quite like them. Like so. Yeah, they're not bad. I mean, you wouldn't use them for a massive section because they're not going to cover very well. But for like this sort of thing where you're just highlighting something, for instance, there, she's wearing a belt. Um, they would have worn that like that. It's fine. Yeah. I'm going to do her shoes in that colour. So she only got, you know, you can see the top part of her shoes. You can't see them at all because they're up here. I can't go out any further, can I? Oh, yeah, I can. There we are. So, so yeah. So yeah, I'm having to put quite a bit of pressure down on them to, to get the colour to take off, but, you know, it looks really good. And I think for something like this where you're just wanting to do certain things in neon, it's, it's going to be fine. Like so, yeah. So we're just going to use bits of the different colours. So this is orange. I like this colour. It's a nice orange. So yeah, it's very bright. The 80s were very bright. There goes my phone. So guys, what have you been up to? What have you been colouring? Anything exciting? Has the Amazon fairy been lately? I've I've uh, had to ban her from the house because I just can't afford to buy any more stuff at the moment. Yeah, we're only halfway through the month, so can't really afford to buy any more because I have to buy petrol and yeah, that's not cheap, is it? Let's be honest. 
And do, 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 do. you have blue ones. <laughs> so yeah, I thought we'd colour in this one and have a look at these neon blue colours. Neon colours, they're quite nice. Oops. So I'm currently reading Storm of Swords Part 1 by George R. R. Martin. If any of you have read that, you know how massive a book it is. And yeah, it's massive. I'm really enjoying it, but it's taken me ages to read it, so unfortunately I'm not reading as much as I, I like to, really. So, which is a shame because I really like to read a lot and I just don't feel like I am at the moment. Green. That's great green, isn't it? Can have green shoes. I so guess you can see it a bit better. So. so yeah, these colour all right. I do find that you're limited with neon colours in some of the sets, like the Prisma colours is just the three. And for something like this, you want lots of different colours because they did wear lots of colours. Yeah, I quite like the green. The green is really nice, so she can have a green bangle. girl. So we're doing all the neon stuff first. Oh, it's like being back in the 80s. This is, I love it. There we go. What other colour should we give her bangle? We'll have a blue one. See, they used to wear multicolored band bangles, loads of them. I like that blue, the blue is nice. So, yeah, I like that. <laughs> so, yeah, those actually are really nice pencils. I mean, like I said, you wouldn't want to use them for a huge amount. It's like she's got a Walkman or something, I'm not actually sure what that is. But, you know, for, for little bits like this, for the jewellery is actually really, really good. Now, I'm just going to go and get some other pencils because I'm looking at their leggings and thinking... that back in the 80s... Oops, I'm just not the camera, sorry. They probably would have had metallic kind of leggings. So, what I do when metallic's out. We'll have blue and we'll have, uh, what colour should we have? We'll have, she can have that one and she can have that one, that's fine. So let's have a look. So, yeah, I don't know what this is up here. So we're just going to... This is the Derwent Metallic Blue. Now apparently you can use this as a watercolour. I haven't yet. So yeah, that looks right. So 
So I have been trying not to buy any more colouring books at the moment because I just, I've got so many that have got partially finished pictures in it or only one picture done in it or no pictures done in it depending on what it is. So for instance, I've got that Selena Fennec book, I've got two more Jade Summer books that haven't got anything in it. And I should be using what I've got, not buying more. But, saying that, I like to buy more. I like to have a choice because, oh dear, that broke. I like to have different choices of things to choose to do. So that if I feel like doing something, you know, like this one from the 80s, I can do it. If I feel like doing a flower mandala, I can do it. If I want to do um, a Discworld picture, I can do it, so. So I do like having choice of things to do. So this is like how dark that is. So it looks like she's wearing jeggings. Well, this is the sort of thing they would have worn. So it's quite fun, this picture. So, I mean, I'm not gonna go on all night because I could, but you know, maybe sure you don't want me to just shout and color. So, so I've had a nice long weekend off. I've been off, it was a Friday and off Monday, I'm back in on Tuesday. And then I won't be around because I've got theatre tomorrow night. So. But to be fair, Sue, who's the director, doesn't seem to want to rehearse quite late. She seems to finish quite reasonably. She starts early, mind, which is fine with me. So I can come home and have something to eat. And... And then um, once I've had something to eat, I can read or colour for half an hour before I go to bed. So the play they're doing is Nicola Gogol's The Government Inspector. And it is quite funny. There's some good bits in it, some good humour. So. I'm going tomorrow to watch it's the first day we booked us down, so it'll be interesting to see how well they do. I'm sure they'll be fine because they're doing really well. I quite like the way that, that looks almost like denim stuff. So and this one can have sort of like, these are pinky purpley coloured ones. So I'll be doing that tomorrow and Wednesday probably and then Thursday I probably colour most of the night and Friday pulls out so I should probably do another colouring chat Friday if I've got something to say because you know what else do you say really other than I'm colouring look <laughs> yeah I mean nothing exciting's happening uh, we've got a builder in not in at the moment, putting up some shelves, floor to ceiling shelves for me to put my DVD collection on in one of the alcoves and then it's going to do the same in the second alcove and that's going to be for me to put my uh, PlayStation games on and some of my paperback books like my Stephen King's which will be nice, I'll free up some space in the book room, not a lot. So yeah, we got It's going to look very nice when it's done. I can't wait to sort out all my DVDs because I've got too many of them. 
I'm gonna get rid of some, but uh, most of them will be staying. I do like my classic movies. I'm not getting rid of any of my classic movies. Because I am a classic movie fiend. So, have, have any of you got any holidays booked? Are you going anywhere nice in the summer? We're off to Tenby. Tenby is a small coastal town in Wales. Um, in the west southwest, I'm going down there in June for my birthday. I will be taking some colouring with me. Um, I might do a bit of vlogging, um, but yeah, I mean, I'll take my colouring with me because if it rains, because it's Wales and it's the UK, and you know, summer doesn't mean anything over here. <laughs> if it rains, I we can stay in the we're staying at a caravan park, and I can then just. Uh, sit in there and colour, put a DVD on and watch a DVD and it'll be really nice just to sit in colour and, and watch a DVD without having to go out into the rain. I'm hoping it'll be really nice and then I'll take my colouring down to the beach. Can you imagine me trundling down to the beach with my 150 Prisma colours? <laughs> I might just take out the colours that I'm using for that to particular section of whatever book I'm working on. I have bought some colouring books this month but I'm going to show you them at the end of the month. Some new ones. I am terrible for buying colouring books. I know it's terrible. <clears throat> yeah, another one on the way. I can't wait for that to come. So I don't mind colouring this one like this, if it's just like, it's just fun. This is just a fun picture to colour. So, I mean, I know I'm not the world's best colourist. I certainly can't draw, but I do enjoy chatting to you guys. And putting some colour on the pages. There we are. Look at those sort of metallic -y leggings. That done. Put that one back in there. Now, <laughs> put those back in my pot. That's that done. So that's what we've done so far. It's looking quite good. Don't we like it? Yes. So this is only going to be a very short Cohen chat because I've got a lot to do this evening. I've got to go and get tea ready because my other half will be home soon. Um, anything there? <clears throat> Just check in my phone. So yeah, so next thing I would be probably doing is her, their faces. I normally use light peach for this, as you can see. My light peach is very short now. <laughs> but when I'm doing the skin, I don't do it really thick. I just give it a light covering. Like so. I'm not very good at co coloring skin. I just do it like that. And then go, um, uh, where is it? Is it that one? No, I do use that one though. It's probably this, this one I've used before, is it? It's not that one. No, it's definitely not that one. Terrible when you can't find the right colour. It's not seashell pink, it's over here. And this eggshell. Just run some eggshell over the top of it. And it gives it a little a bit more of a flesh tone. Then I'd normally blend it in with my blender, wherever it is. There it is. 
So it's a little bit, it looks a bit yellow at the moment because I haven't finished with it. So I'm not very good at skin tones. I don't know how to do them. It look, looks a bit yellow, doesn't it, on there? On the camera, it looks more yellow than it is. Let's put some pink on it. What's that one? Yeah, seashell. A bit of seashell pink. Just give it a bit more pink. Like I said, I'm not a brilliant colourist. I just enjoy doing it. Just, it's not too bad, actually. What I normally do then is take um, peach beige. Let's give it a little brownie. too bad is it and then I get a sort of a um, beige sienna and just go around the out outline so just like that she's got a funny looking thumb mine didn't she yeah. my blender and that doesn't look too bad a bit too much there So now she's got her little arm. Take that out so you can see how much we've done. So that's it so far. I'm really, I'm really enjoying this book actually. Um, I'm going to enjoy doing their hair and then the bricks in the background. That'll be fun. So. <laughs> I mean, that's 24 minutes, um, we're nearly at 25 minutes, so I'm going to call it a day there because I have got a ton of stuff to do. What I'll probably do is I'll probably leave this one till Friday and then when we do a weekly catch up, we'll come back to colouring this one on Friday and we'll go back to finishing off the skin on the girls. Those rest of their clothes and then and doing the their clothes. skirts and, and the, the bricks at the back of the hair. I'm looking forward to doing the hair. So, so far that's how it's looking so far. So that is from Zen Master's Totally Bodacious 80s colouring book. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. It would be longer, but I feel absolutely shattered. And I've got to go make tea because it's nearly dinner time. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video and I will see you all soon. Like I said, I'll probably be back on Friday with another colour and chat and we'll continue on doing uh, this picture. It's not what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the week, but uh, we'll finish this one together Friday, I hope, or near enough Friday. 
So happy colouring everybody and I will see you soon. Bye now.